What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at the ProtoArc XK01 as you can see here on your screen. And this happens to be probably I would think the almost the top of the food chain. Uh, if you know something better after you watch this review, definitely leave it in the comments and maybe I'll go check that out and do a review of it and maybe even try to replace this as my go-to foldable keyboard. Um, for an upcoming project, right? So this is this is definitely what I'm going to be using in my work anywhere uh, portable productivity setup, right? So this is going in my bag, and I'm going to implement it. So ProtoArc sent this to the show to review, but they haven't altered any of this review. This is my own opinion, and obviously at this point we're doing the unboxing, so I don't even have any first impressions or anything to go off of. So this is going to be. Uh, the unboxing experience and then we're going to use it and then I'm going to give you some impressions right if you haven't uh, I'll try to link in the show notes or a card up here this is the Proto Arc mouse we have reviewed this in a previous episode probably almost two years ago now maybe a year year and a half time flies and you lose track but this is a pretty nice little um, multi-functional mouse uh, that doubles as like a, a dock right a hub basically, right? And you say, like, well, how can a mouse be a hub or a dock, right? I don't really say a dock, but um, they have this nice little built-in hub that you can plug in and use, which gives you HDMI, USB-A, and a USB-C port. So that's kind of cool. So as you can see here, what we're dealing with, we've definitely got some pretty cool products that uh, ProtoArc brings to the table. So let's go ahead, we'll put the mouse aside, I just wanted to revisit that, um, and let's go ahead and open up this XK01 keyboard. Now, this is, as you can see, it's a foldable, full-size wireless keyboard, okay, which means it's a tri-fold, and it's probably one of the only full-size that I know of in this kind of form factor. So you're going to get a numpad, and just like a full keyboard experience, right? So I think that's probably... One of the things that's setting this above the rest um, in my book, and I, I hope that it lives up to its its expectations. It connects up to three devices, so you can switch between three different devices simultaneously and go boom, boom, boom. Multi-device connection. Type-C rechargeable, full-size keys, so it's not some little tiny thing that doesn't have brakes or anything like that in the keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard effect. So it's got three Bluetooth connectivity, 210 milliamp built-in battery, which gives you six months standby time. That's pretty good. Use time, I don't yet know. Weight, 10.48 ounces or 297 grams, so it is very, very lightweight and very portable. That's what it's intended for. The dimensions, so unfolded, uh, 1521 by 471 by uh, 49. And so basically in an unfolded situation, um, it's, it's about like, I think the 8.48 8 is the height. The 4.71 is the width. It doesn't change on the width, as you can see, whether it's folded or unfolded. The only thing that really changes is the um, height. Uh, folded and unfolded, we go from 15.21 inches to 8.48 inches folded. So... There you go on, on the dimensions. And it's compatible with Windows, Android, Mac, OS, and iOS. So it works pretty much across the gambit. And it says enjoy working on the go. Uh, and that's most of the box, right? So let's go ahead and open it up. You get the unboxing experience with me here. Oh, looks like a pretty nice little carry case. So let's just pull everything out. Oh. See, gotta look under everything. There's a little hidden cable. Don't overlook the cable. Recycle that and really recycling this cable with it. So, you get a USB A to C, so it's a charge cable. You get a user manual. Uh, nice little envelope of probably some kind of warranty. And don't forget you're covered. No, there's the warranty, so. Yeah, I don't know. Let's open this up and see. Might just be more like what ProtoArc offers, like a catalog. Oh, it's a nice little personal letter. It's 
some more documents in here. So what do we get? Uh, contact information if you want to put a sticker on the back. Uh, yeah, Healthy Workspace Solution, so it's a little catalog of, of product. And then uh, you get a nice little letter from uh, probably the CEO or fun, yeah, proud designer behind the product. You've just, so there you go. Then, in this nice little carry case, very impressive, uh, is your keyboard. And behind here, we get a little stand. Looks like it goes in there. Open it up. And we've got our folded keyboard. That's a pretty nice faux little leather case. Yeah, definitely not leather. All right, so let's just open this little bad boy up. What do we got here? Just like a little kickstand, it looks like. So you do have the option of uh, elevating it, it looks like. So let's go ahead and open up the keyboard. And there we go. Beautiful full-size keyboard. Um, doesn't feel chintzy at all. This is actually quality build here. Um, so that that's super nice. You can see our Bluetooth one is flashing. We open it up. We're in pairing mode for our first device. So you can go through here and you can actually uh, set up your three different Bluetooth items. Here's a little power button here to basically show that we're powered up. And what's kind of cool is these uh, Bluetooth switchers here, one, two, or three, are, are orange. So you know right where to go to change your devices. So that's kind of cool. So uh, the, the switch type on this here, see it's not very loud. I mean, I guess it depends on how hard you type, right? But it's not like a mechanical keyboard. It's not super clicky. What they call this are scissor switches. So they're, they're scissor switches and they're low pro profile keys. So you're supposed to be kind of quiet, right? Which is the whole thing. You're working somewhere like a coffee shop or somewhere in public. You don't want to annoy people around you, right? So quiet keys, they got pretty good tactile feedback, which is kind of nice. Uh, and they're not loud. So... Very nice premium typing experience. I already like that. So we already talked about too that six months on this 210 um, battery that's built into it, 210 milliamps. Uh, this goes into power off mode after 30 minutes. So if I don't sit here and use this for 30 uh, 30 minutes, it goes in and powers itself off. So that's how it saves on its battery. Uh, and then in, in that standby mode, supposedly you get six months. So that's kind of cool. So enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy paired up with a couple different devices and we'll be right back and we'll go over the typing experience, the connectivity, the responsiveness, performance and stuff like that and we'll wrap it up. We'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So we've got the keyboard charging up right now. Um, this little power button goes a little bit of a red LED when you're charging it, just so you know. It does have a little charge indicator, right? So went ahead and quickly paired it up to the iPad easy peasy. So I'm going to go over that process with my iPhone. So we're going to put it in settings and we're going to go to Bluetooth. And so I've got my Bluetooth devices and we're going to hold uh, device 2 down for just a couple seconds and our number 2 starts to flash. So if I come here I can see the ProtoArc XK10 or XK01 and I'm just going to say pair and now we're connected. So now I have legitimately um, plugged this in and paired it to two different devices. I'm using the stand that came with the ProtoArc and it was in the little side compartment there. So I've got the little angle stand on it and that's what I'm using for the iPad and it works fairly well. So I'm going to switch back. So right now we're connected to the iPhone so I'm just going to type test this keyboard out and I love it okay let's switch back to number one test this keyboard out and we're over here hopefully you can see this might be off the screen just a little bit but you can see how quickly let's go back to number two here we are back on the iPhone and, and I am typing mine camera, so give me a break on the iPhone. Okay, now we're going back to one. Now, on the iPod, we're typing here. So, very, very cool. This full size 
keyboard, 105 keys, I do believe, is a great little device. Now, if you stuck around this far and you want a free meal or a couple, a free box effector, use that code or scan that QR code. I'm going to pause the video. This will get you a free box effector. They don't sponsor me or anything. I use them and I love them. All right. They're the best, quick tasting, you know, already prepared, never frozen, fresh food, and it's amazingly good. And I just nuke it for two minutes. And my time is valuable. I used to be able to cook and prep and stuff, but I just don't have the time to do it anymore. This has been a lifesaver. They have many different diets out there. So if you're on a keto, Mediterranean, uh, veggie, you know, vegan, whatever, um, you know, all protein, and they have all the different diets lined up too. So you can do that. Or you can just freestyle it and get what you want. They also do juicing and all sorts of fun stuff and have breakfast items uh, and uh, power shots and stuff like that. So definitely very, very cool stuff. And uh, again, if you want a free free meal, there you go. I'm going to throw that one out. Hopefully somebody gets it and uses it. So, All right. I don't think I have any more to say about this keyboard except uh, pretty happy. It's going to go in my everyday carry and be the keyboard that I try to use for my uh, productivity. And again, I'm just going to take this USB-C out. You can just see here, there's not a lot to it, right? One USB-C port, when you're done, you close it up. It does have these little rubber feet, so uh, it will not slip when you put it out there. I put my sticker on, you'll be proud of me. And there's what it looks like folded up. So, if you want a comparison to an iPhone, size-wise, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Look at that. And if you're wondering what I'm using, this is the Moft uh, tripod case, basically. I don't remember what the official tissue is that they call it, but uh, it is definitely just a little Moft MagSafe tripod. And it's a kickstand. It's basically like a little stand and a tripod. It can it can elevate it all the way up, but that's a different different video. This is the stand that came with ProtoArc. Many different angles to uh, stand up your phone, stand up your tablet. So you can see there, it worked pretty good with an iPad. Uh, you can different angles and stuff like that, and then just fold it up, put it in the baggie. And I'm just going to bring this carry case over because. I wasn't expecting the carry case. It's kind of a nice little feature, right? So I'm just going to stash it in our baggie. All right. Boom. It's got a snap. And we put our little carry, or our little. There we go. Look at that. Pretty neat. Anyway, ProtoArc XK01. I don't know why I want to keep calling it an XK10. Probably because it's Star Wars. Isn't that a Star Wars thing? I think it is. 2K XT10? I don't know. Anyway, Proto Arc, business travel, definitely probably the top of the food chain. And if you know of a better one, let me know. Keep in mind, I'm looking for not the smallest. I'm looking for the a, a full size keyboard, which is great. I'm looking for quietness. I'm looking for comfort. I'm looking for uh, portability, right? All those items. Don't just come to me and say, hey, here's the smallest keyboard. Yeah, well, if it's got a terrible experience, then yeah, I don't want it, right? I don't even want to review it. It's got short battery life. It's got weird keys. You know, they're broken in half somewhere in the keyboard just to make it work. This seems to be the best full keyboard experience that I've been able to find out there. So check the show notes. I'll have a link not only for their mouse with the built-in hub, in the XK01 keyboard as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.